Hi, this is the Tiny Shuffle Teacher and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a multiple choice quiz in PowerPoint. So uh, we want a new slide. So in the Home tab, go to New Slide and we'll choose a blank slide. And we'll put in our question with a text box. So if you go to Insert, Text Box, I imagine we are making a money quiz. So uh, my sister... Mm -mm -mm, £10 from me last week. And we will resize this text. Um, let's have it so that the students can see it. Size maybe 48. And we're going to put in four answers that change colour when you click on them. Uh, so three of them are going to change to red and one of them will change to green to show it's the right answer. So if we go to insert, we're going to put the answers in shapes. So insert, shape, you can choose, I'm going to have this one. OK. Click and drag it out. Um, to put text in the shape, you select it, right click on it, and click on edit text. So I'll put the first answer in here, uh, lent. And once again, uh, resize the text. Let's have size 40. And, uh, and now you've got your text box with your, your word in it. You can change the colour um, by, again, selecting it, right-clicking, and going to Format Shape to make it look exactly how you like. Um, but I'm quite happy with this for the moment. So now we want it to change colour when you click on it. Uh, that's done through the animations. So go to Animation at the top, click on Animation, Custom Animation, and it opens a panel down here that gives you more uh, options. So click on your shape and then add the effect for this shape. We want emphasis, um, I want it to change the fill colour. So click on that, and it will show you the automatic uh, default colour change, which is to red, which is quite nice, because that's what I wanted. Um, if you click on the fill colour, um, it does give you more options. You can choose um, from the custom colours or the standard colours here. But I'm quite happy with the red, because it's the wrong answer. Um, we also want it to change when you click on it. At the moment it will change when you click anywhere on the screen. Um, so if I select the shape, go to the rounded rectangle here, um, and then timing, uh, we want a trigger. We want it to start, we want it to change colour when I click, not the text box, but the rectangle that says, number two, sorry, that says A, Lent. Okay. So, if you press F5, you can see the slideshow. Click on the shape, and it changes colour. But it's changing very slowly at the moment, so I want to speed that up. Um, so again, select the shape, and it's this one, A, Lent. Uh, we want it to go a bit faster, so that's the timing. So not medium speed, let's have very fast speed. OK, yeah, that looks much faster now. So we've got the shape changing colour, how we want, um, so we will copy this now and paste it, right click, paste, right click, paste, right click, paste, uh, copy it four times so we can have four different answers. So A is lent, B can be borrowed, C can be paid, and D We'll say gave. Okay, so at the moment, if you click on a shape, it shows which one you've got highlighted, um, and it shows the colour it's going to change to. Um, C, it's going to change to red. D, it's going to change to red. <gasps> but B is also going to change to red, and B is the right answer. So if you click on the red colour, we're going to change this particular one to green when someone clicks on it. Okay, so now it shows up green here. So if you do F5 for the slideshow now, and you click on the shapes, the borrowed one changes to the correct colour. OK, so now um, make sure your slide is formatted as you want, with the background that you want, the font that you want, the shapes are all exactly in the position that you want. And then in the column here, the slides column, click on the shape, right click, copy, and then anywhere here, right click, paste, right click, paste right click, paste, and you can keep pasting the slides. And then uh, move them around so that the correct answer is in a different place each time. And type over with 
new questions. And that's all there is to it.